folks, today I'd like to talk a little bit about using the Fusion Page Builder inside the Avada theme. If, you've, if you're using Avada, which is one of my favorite themes for WordPress, uh, the latest versions came with this Fusion Page Builder. And so there's a lot of really good things I like about it. The number one thing I like is the way it does videos so that the, it's responsive video. Let me give you, a, I'll give you a, I'm going to open up a page from my website. Um, and so here are a bunch of videos that I've put on these pages. And I, uh, this is before I started using uh, the Fusion. And so you see how these videos are all very small. If I click on one of these, it will play a video. And it's a tutorial how to do Premiere. And the reason they're all so small is I wanted this thing to, to look right when you pull it in for viewing on a, uh, a mobile device, right? Well, you know, that was kind of a stupid way to do that because I didn't really understand what Fusion Page Builder would do. For instance, if I go to YouTube, let's say here's this video about Rathbun House that I've just put out. Uh, so I'm going to go to the video. Cool place. And I'll uh, go ahead and embed this video into the page. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Uh, we'll just say share. And we'll say embed. And so here's my embed code. And as I can show more here, I can see it's going to be 560 pixels wide, 350 tall. I'm going to grab the iframe here. Control C. If I go into WordPress, I'm adding a new post or something here. Those of you who've used, used WordPress before, you realize you'd probably say, put your text in here. Uh, here's a visit to Rath the Rathman House, which is a cool place in Asheville, North Carolina for people to stay if they have family that are uh, patients at Mission Health Hospitals. But then what I would do, since I've got a text here or whatever, I would put my video in here. That's where I did my return. So I'm going to replace that with uh, the iframe. And so we'll go back and we'll look at the visual of it. And we'll see now we got the, the, the page here. So here's the preview. And we'll see I have my sidebar over here with the ads in it. And here's the Rathman House. But now if I pull this in, look, no responsive, right? So, so, the, so the, the, this doesn't change. So the, the thing that's really cool about the, uh, the new Fusion page builder, I'm going to go ahead and just kind of delete this for now. I mean, uh, I could click on it, I guess, and delete it. If I do Fusion page builder, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this too. The Fusion Page Builder gives me all these really nice little options under this Builder element, right? So I go here, and I've got a, I got the page down below. I can start pulling things down, and what yeah, I can pull a title down. I'm going to pull a text block down, and then you got this little, this little thing comes here. It doesn't look right. It looks totally alien to what you're used to seeing. But you can click on the Edit Element, edit, or element here, and I can say here, uh, here's hold my Tony guy. Here's a uh, visit to the Rathbun House. And I'll say save. And so now I have that in there. And it is left justified. I even know it looks like it's center justified. Now I can pull a YouTube video uh, thing down here. And I can hit edit. And this is interesting the way that this thing does. Uh, here we go. Come on, edit. Here we go. It, it's going to create its own iframe, which is responsive design. So if I go back to this Rathbun house, I don't really need all this code anymore. Uh, it, this is really pretty cool the way it does this. What I really need is just the YouTube uh, link. So I'm going to go back to share here. And really, what I, I don't even need the YouTube part in you know, the slash. All I need is that little bit right there. It's going to grab all of it. You can't hardly make it not do that. Somebody say Control C. I'm going to go back here to Edit Post. I'm going to paste that in. And I'm going to get rid of that slash and the HTTP YouTube because really all it cares about is the part that's 2NH and everything that's after that. So there we go. And now it's saying it's going to give me a 600 pixel wide. I can change that to whatever I want it to be. Uh, you, you want to make sure you do it uh, mathematically. And if, so let's, let's say you want it to be 500 pixels wide. An easy way to do that would be to you know, go back over here. Uh, ah, I'm in the wrong place again. Go back over here and do embed. And then say uh, uh, da, 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 custom size. And you can say 500. 
and it's going to show you that it would need to be 281 pixels. So you can mathematically let YouTube calculate that for you. But if you go back over here, then you can say 500 by 281. I'm going to leave it 600. Autoplay video, none. I like this. Sometimes I like this rail equals zero. This is a kind of a cool one that they give you so that the recommended videos don't come up in that patchwork thing at the end of the video. So if you want to do that, you would just take this and rail equals zero. Uh, there we go. Yeah, not plus equals zero. And that way the, the recommended videos at the end would not play. It would just come to the end and go back to your video. So you can say save and you can say update. And now I'm going to preview that after we get through recording here. So we'll say preview changes. And we should have my Raspin House video here. And now let's see. Yeah, look at that. Responsive design, right? So now I don't have to resize my videos. It's going to reflow everything. And of course, it's going to give me my little hamburger things here for my... Uh, but see, that's pretty cool. Fusion Page Builder will do some really nice stuff. And there's my text. Um, and, and if you want to go in here and look and play around, I might go and do another video a little bit more um, in, in detail about what all's there. But there's some great little elements and stuff in here. I've not even used a third of them yet. I, I, need, I just have to need to find out what all I can embed into my pages. I have done Vimeo videos. Works very well as, as well. So not, not to belabor this particular video, we'll move on to something else. This is a nice little tip if you want to embed your YouTube videos and make them uh, resizable in responsive design. Hope this helps, folks. Uh, just, uh, subscribe if you like. Peace.